Raw was the show that changed the entire business model of the industry, from its early days as the first weekly primetime program to the all-time peak of the business during the Monday Night Wars, all the way to being the primary revenue source for the company during its popularity decline in the 2010s on, as we're looking at the top 10 most watched Raw shows in its 30-year history. A day after an all-time record pay-per-view at WrestleMania 16, Raw had one of its biggest audiences in history tuning in for the follow-up after a swerve of McMahon turning heel on Rock in the main event, with the show opening huge from the first quarter with a 6.8 rating and over 8.5 million viewers, the highest for a regular Raw broadcast in history. The McMahons opened the show for Vince's heel turn explanation promo followed by Rock arriving to the Staples Center minutes later, setting up the main event with Rock against one of Vince Triple H or Shane. With WCW having a recap show in preparation for the Russo-Bischoff regime starting next week, Raw saw its viewership staying steady for the entire two hours, featuring several post-mania matches including Big Show vs. Rikishi, two title matches with Jericho vs. Eddie and Benoit vs. Taz along with a segment of the three teams that elevated their career in the tag team ladder match. Rock's first promo since last night came at around 10.30 p.m. in a different demeanor promising to take out the McMahons tonight, with the Rock vs. Shane match going five minutes in the main event, picking up over 1.7 million viewers to a peak 7.6 rating and over 9.8 million viewers, ending with Rock pinning Triple H to close the show. The most unique Raw show to date took place on May 24, 1999 with the industry still in shock a day after one of the biggest tragedies in its history. With the WWF already in the mainstream headlines due to its unprecedented popularity and cable TV dominance, the news and the circumstances of Owen's death took the media coverage to levels perhaps never seen before with wrestlers from both main companies all over television in the week following. Raw which usually opened strong and built its viewership as the show went on to the payoff in the second hour, saw a completely different viewing pattern on the night with the entire audience already tuning in from the first minute of the show, opening the first quarter with a 7.3 rating, the highest rated opening segment in Raw history for the company and talent roster paying tribute to Owen with a 10 bell salute as the announcers introduced viewers to a show unlike any other before it. Raw stayed in the same range from start to finish with no major drops or bumps as viewers enter again the unique broadcast was steady throughout, opening with a 7.3 rating and also ending with a 7.3 with both Rock and Austin making their first appearances of the night in the 5 minute overrun, with Rock cutting a tribute promo to Owen before a quick match with Val Venis along with Austin's salute to close the show. The WWF started the road to WrestleMania 16 a day after the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, with Raw already growing to a 6.8 rating and over 9 million viewers 15 minutes in for Rumble winner Rock's follow-up promo with Big Show and Hunter, recapping his street fight with Cactus Jack and hyping the upcoming Rock vs. Triple H Mania main event. Raw also featured the TV debut of Taz in a segment with Kurt Angle coming in perfect timing as after debuting last night in the Garden, his first Raw show came in the other ECW territory of Philadelphia, seeing the crowd starting big ECW chants during the Angle Taz brawl. Raw's main event started already past 11 p.m. into the overrun, seeing Rock in a handicap match against Sho and Hunter going four minutes before interferences from Rikishi DX and Foley speaking the night with a 7.5 rating with Raw overall drawing its biggest numbers in months. A day after an all-time great fully loaded pay-per-view, Raw jumped big for the follow-up of the event starting with Mick Foley booking a Rock and Kane vs. Engel and Benoit tag match for the main event. Raw's boosted interest on the night saw the overall second hour jumping huge to one of the biggest hours in show history doing a 7.5 rating with over 9.2 million viewers, with no quarter during the hour dropping below a 7.3, featuring the follow-up segments of the Angle vs Taker and Hunter vs Jericho pay-per-view matches, along with a three-way tag and a Trish vs Lita strap match. Rock and Kane against Benoit and Angle went 9 minutes in the main event 
doing the show's quarter high 7.7 .7 rating and then jumping further to one of the biggest peak numbers of all time for the finish drawing an 8.4 rating with over 10.3 million viewers, ending up with Shane's new crew of Benoit Show and Angle taking out Rock and Kane to close the show. Coming off the King of the Ring pay-per-view with Rock pinning Vince in the six-man tag to win the title, closing out the McMahon-Helmsley regime program as Rock opened Raw five-time WWF champion before Vince came out to announce that he's going home, officially ending the faction storyline with Rock sending him off TV with a rock bottom, on the same night that Mick Foley would make his TV return for the first time since WrestleMania to fill the void as the new commissioner. Foley's reveal segment which featured Shawn Michaels Triple H and Kurt Angle, bumped Raw from a 6.4 into the 7 rating range to open the second hour, setting up a three-way number one contender for the main event with Rock Hunter and new King of the Ring Kurt Angle, with the match going 9 minutes picking up over 1.5 million viewers to an 8 rating with over 10.6 million viewers, previewing their eventual SummerSlam main event over a month later. 13 days from King of the Ring, the main event build-up continued with Rock starting Raw in front of 17,000 at the Kiel Center in St. Louis, calling out all involved from Taker and Kane to the faction, ending up with Kane coming out first to take the challenge and set up Rock vs Kane for the main event. The McMahons came out in the final quarter just before the main event after going through a series of matches all night with Linda booking Vince and Shane against the Dudleys in a tables match and Triple H defending the belt against Jericho in an 8-minute match jumping big to a quarter-high 7.7 .7 rating, hyping the King of the Ring main event tag with all staying at ringside for the match. Rock and Kane came out a few minutes before 11 p.m. with the match going into the overrun, picking up over a million viewers to a PK rating with over 10 million viewers, ending up with Taker coming out and all three taking out the faction while laying out Triple H for the finish. 24 hours after a one-hour Iron Man match at Judgment Day which also featured the return of Undertaker after over eight months, Vince opened Raw bragging about last night's results while telling the crowd that Rock might not show up, booking him against all members of DX in a handicap match if he arrives to the building. Moments later Rock was walking behind McMahon on the way to his limousine, taking him out and sending him away as the first target for the night starting one of the memorable show long angles in history with Rock taking out the entire faction throughout the show in the build to the main event segment. As Raw which went unopposed all night due to WCW starting an hour earlier, started and remained over the 7 rating and 8 million viewers range for the rest of the night. Rock finally came out for the response promo on last night's finish with 15 minutes to go in the broadcast telling Triple H that they made history last night in an all-time great match but he didn't win the title as he never beat him, turning to Undertaker saying that he did the right thing but at the wrong time. Hunter came out saying that they live the industry on fire but he's the one with the belt, as Rock called him to the ring to start the brawl with the entire faction returning. Undertaker arrived moments later to another huge reaction making his TV return since September 99, as Rock and Taker took out the faction with Rock laying out Hunter to close one of the hottest draw shows of all time, with the final segment which started at a 7.6 rating, then jumped over 1.8 million viewers to a huge 8.6, speaking with over 10.5 million viewers with Raw overall drawing a near record 7.1 rating. After one of the biggest spectacles of all time to end last night's Backlash pay-per-view, the company concluded a record-breaking month on May 1st with every viewership milestone on target for the follow-up on the night. Rock arrived to open Raw's second hour at 10 p.m. gaining over half of the WCW audience picking up Raw to a near-record 7.9 rating for his first title win promo after a year-long title chase setting up the main event with Rock vs Shane in a title cage match with Raw already at over 9.3 million viewers for the Rock McMahon confrontation. Rock and Shane came out in the final quarter bumping the show to a near record 8.3 rating for the first half of the match, 
the second highest quarter hour on an opposed night in Raw history only behind the This Is Your Life segment on September 27, 99. The Rock vs. Shane match crossed over into the overrun gaining over 1.5 million viewers to a 9.1 rating and over 10.8 million viewers, the most watched match in Raw in cable TV history, closing out the record night with Raw drawing the biggest rating in Monday Night Wars history with a 7.4 overall. Six days from Backlash 2000 with everything set in place for one of the biggest shows in company history, Rock and Vince McMahon were set for the final hype promos on the night, with Vince after being off television in the past week arriving to the building to open Raw's second hour for his first response promo on Rock and Austin teaming up on Sunday. Vince recapped the last week talking about Austin and Rock's history trying to stir things up and turn them on each other by bringing up incidents from the past when both were fighting for the top spot in the company, with the segment picking up huge with the vast majority of the WCW audience tuning into Raw when going off the air, bumping Raw to a near record 8.1 rating with over 10.2 million viewers. Half an hour later Rock responded to Vince's promo saying that maybe him and Austin should not fully trust each other but both know that they should never trust McMahon. Closing the final hype to backlash with the main event of Rock and Jericho against Hunter and Benoit coming up next, going 7 minutes with the match along with Rock's pre-match promo jumping over 1.6 million viewers to peak the night at an 8.6 rating and over 10.7 million viewers, one of the top 3 highest viewerships ever recorded in show history, as Raw overall drew an all-time record opposed rating with a 7.2 rating with Raw's second hour on the back of the McMahon Rock promos and main event tag match, became the most watched hour of Raw in history with the first ever hour of weekly WWF television to reach the 10 million viewers mark for the full hour. With the WWF already shattering new milestones by the week when going head to head with WCW. When the schedule showed that Raw will go unopposed on May 10, 1999 the question was how high it can get, as when numbers came out the following day all expectations were surpassed with the show drawing not only an all-time wrestling viewership record, but one of the biggest numbers in cable TV history overall. Raw which started with a show-long angle of the corporate ministry vs the union, jumped over 1.3 million viewers in the second quarter to a 7.8 rating for the faction's confrontation along with Shawn Michaels return to book the loaded card for tonight, and from that point never fell below the previously unheard of 8 rating range. The show was building to a big star power six-man tag on top with Rock and Austin being held off to make their first appearance of the night nearly two hours into the broadcast to maximize the main event trading, as the Vince Rock and Austin vs Shane Taker and Hunter match jumped to a peak 9.2 rating with over 10.4 million viewers, with both figures all-time records, as Raw overall broke every previous record in history with an 8.1 rating leading to the company getting massive media coverage on the number in the days following and what went down as the highest rated and most watched draw show of all time. 